Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. I'm Pierre Farrugia and today we are in Calcara. This place has a special place in my heart because I was born here. But unfortunately, I never visited this site. I uh, have to say a big thank you to Associazione Weird del Calcara, which has a very good website which I will link below and which uh, they give me a lot of information. Thanks to them and thanks for making Calcara uh, more beautiful. And today we're going to visit this site. So let's start exploring this area. Normally when you see this place, you will see only this part of this building because it's uh, on top the, of the hill of in front of the bay, Rinella Bay there. But as you will see later, there's uh, many places where, can, when, uh, where we can explore and you will be amazed how big the remaining structure is. It's uh, in a very bad state, so people have to take care if they come here because it's a little bit dangerous with the rocks, but it's uh, of big historical value. Must have been beautiful in its days. We're going to start from here. Looks, there have been windows here. I like, I don't know if this was the facade here. But let's explore inside. Here yeah, looks, it has been a lot of collapse. Look at those windows, how beautiful they used to be. And there was an upper level there, which is not advisable to go. Another thing to take care is that the staircase is all cracked up, we call it Shorok. And uh, it's very dangerous if some people try to go up on top. So let's go around and see what we can see from other places. Hello. This part here is the most visible part of this villa. Behind it, we can see Villa Bigi, the most famous and uh, it's enormous, uh, that's now used for weddings. But here, in 1744, this land was owned by uh, a family called Bigi. Could it be why the name here is Bigi from the family name? So those from Calcara, please comment below. And uh, the land was uh, leased to Carlos Amit from Valletta to build three uh, villas here with gardens. Well, uh, now we're going to start exploring the inside of here. You see how nice it is with all these arches. So now let's go inside. Now we are going inside. As you can see, many walls are crumbling down. I have to say a big thank you to Duncan Brinkat, which gives me a lot of history on Calcara. It's amazing, his knowledge about Calcara and the love for Calcara, so huge thank you. Man. Yes. Well, this is the part that I came from now, from the other side. And as you can see here, uh, the stair is crumbling down there. Look at that window, how nice it is. So if we go on this side, we will see from where we came from. So now we're going to go in here. And here you can see, look how beautiful this roof is. I never saw something like this. And the arches, look at this triple arch, how it's built. I'm not an architect, but I never saw such a beauty. I'm still amazed by this roof, eh? and if we turn around, you can see how beautiful the roofs and the arches are. Amazed, eh? Must have been a super beautiful place here. Now we are going to go in one of the rooms. Yeah. As I told you, there is a lot of damage. Look at the roof here. And this look that is being dug inside the rock eh? yeah. I think also that here the, there's been the presence of uh, British forces here that might be have used this, this house. So nobody knows about the history of here. Look how much amazing this place is. It's a pity, yeah? 
Well, what I thought to be just small ruins that they are uh, seen from the road. I have to say that I was very, very wrong. And this place is very beautiful. Eh? The, uh, the, uh, the roof here, I never saw such beauty. But as you can see, I think here it was used by the British because there's electricity as well. I don't think that when it was built, it was meant to have electricity. But to continue here, now we have to see a different roof or a picture of or slabs. Hope you can see like me. And there is the other part of this area. We are still exploring this beautiful house. Yeah. This is the roof is different here. It had windows, which was the view of the harbor from here. It had lots of opening in the roof. I don't know if some, but this one is, uh, it was meant to be open. Well, let's continue exploring this area. Look at the window there, how nice it is. I don't advise any people going up. Eh? It was painted grey here. Yeah? Because the roof doesn't look so safe. Here yeah, the roof has collapsed, but it has beautiful arches as well. This must have been a beautiful house. Eh? I will post a photo from uh, Weird Tartel Karkara, they post it on their website. So you see, when it was in all its glory. You see, how beautiful it is. Look here, uh, it had a beautiful staircase, a spiral staircase. That now is damaged, but it was beautiful as well. Eh? Now we are going to continue explore this complex because I think it. Look at the ceiling. Wow, how big it is here! See, very big, and it looks as if. Look, uh, it has been dug in the rock. We have some big tree roots here going down. Impressive. And uh, I don't know if people know about this. Uh, this grooves in the wall here. Water used to go down with the wall. Go into the groove and then it will drain to its drain uh, where the drainage was meant to be. But let's continue exploring this big. I have to switch the light higher because it's very big here. Yeah? Look at the ceiling here. And it's all dug in the rock. Eh? It's a beautiful place it is. You see, the... here is all solid rock here. Yeah? Could it be here yeah, they used to leave animals? Huh? Well, you can tie them. Uh, and here as a natural, uh, I think water used to seep down. Uh, and you will find water here. In this uh, stone bowl. You have to take great care not to fall. And here is another impressive room. Look, the arch is how nice it is. From the photos I'm seeing lately, it looks like a big well, but it doesn't make sense that here is a well with. But everything good, yeah. Peeping. Drop material from here or from these openings. 
you can see there's an opening there. That's why I think it could be even how the, the roof is. I seen was like this. Anybody knows more about these things, please comment below so everybody will learn. Even the shape, I've used the shape, how it is. This could have been a staircase, but it's all falling down. And here is the most interesting part of this villa. Well, hope you can see. But here are, there's a ship with masts and sails and looks like very old. Eh? There's some dates here, there's another ship painted here. And here is 1789 maybe. There is a hook. It could be they, they used to keep animals here because there's many hooks here. But here is impressive. Eh? There's another hook there. Let's put a on the light. The shape is exactly those of wells are. And if you see the opening of the we have here. Or it have been for light, I don't know. This one people have to educate me on this. It's impressive, eh? oh, yeah. But those of the ship are very nice. Here I am in the middle of the big chamber that I was visiting now. Look at the roof, how beautiful it is. And how big this area is. Eh? If I go at 360 degree turn, you will notice that there you can go in further. And there is the entrance to this big chamber where the big roots are. But this roof is impressive eh? and very good state here. Yeah? Now we are exploring the chamber on our right. As you can see here, there's an opening in the roof from where they dumped stuff. Most probably here, it was used in, uh, by the British government, the British forces. Oh. There, and uh, it has got many alterations, that's what I'm thinking. You see here, it was closed because I think it could be dangerous, people can fall in here. But here is all dug in the stone, eh? in the rock. Here looks like there has been an arch, but it has been closed down. And here we have some water. Now we can start taking our way back to the outside. But a very interesting place. Eh? I think if here will be restored, if it could be restored, it will be an amazing place. While checking this area, I found this. It looks Intriguing, I don't know how. But looking at it closer, it's looking more like a bone. I don't know. Who knows? Let's leave it here. I know. On my way back out after exploring this area. What do you think guys? A very interesting place, huh? I never thought it's, it's this beautiful and it's such a big place. The place is upstairs, but of course we are not going to visit. It's too dangerous to go up there. Everything is crumbling down. 
So let's see if we can find somewhere else we can explore. This is the area how it looks from outside. I was there where is the staircase or there. This is the upper level or but it's too dangerous to go up. I will try to go around but I don't think there's a way I can go up. It's too dangerous and it's not worth it to walk on this ground. Let's see what we can find now. This from the outside as well. Look how beautiful it was here. Here where we are right now are the gardens of this uh, very old villa. And if we go here, around here you can see there was like a niche inside the wall area in this garden of this villa here. Here it looks like there have been some benches with this beautiful view of the bay. Area. There's one that is still in good shape. And if you look at that remains there, there's another one as well. Uh, let me show you. That, yeah, there was another bench too. But look at the view. From here. You can see the bay. Must have been a very, very beautiful villa here. Eh? Hope you enjoyed this vlog from here, Calcara, in this beautiful 18th century home with this beautiful architecture. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and until next time, bye bye.